Good morning. Before we go for our drive today, I just thought I'd show you how we charge from home. We have solar power. It's 5.6 kilowatts of power. And so during daylight hours, we get free electricity, but we don't have a battery. So what we do is we charge our Tesla, usually during the daylight hours, but we can charge it overnight as well. It doesn't cost much uh, if we do that. It's pretty simple. We haven't bought a special charger or anything. We just plug it in to the wall. This is a cable that we got when we bought the car. So this is where it connects into the car here. And you don't just pull it out. I look at my phone and I choose unlock charge port. I just went click and the light went from green to white. And then I pull that out and I go close charge port and it closes. It's as simple as that. Now that's a very slow way to charge. But if we don't need, if we just need a top up or we don't, you know, we're not going a long distance, that's fine for us. But we can also use superchargers out in the public and we'll show you one of those today. All ready for our big drive? Yep. Okay, can you show everybody how much charge we've got in the car before we go? Yeah, this screen is uh, like the charging screen and it's showing 99%. That's the battery, 99% uh, capacity. So that's more than enough to um, get us up there and back. Okay, so there's something that I want to show you that I'm doing. I'm charging my laptop because I've been doing work in the car while Paul is driving. And I do that by, I'm, I use an Apple Mac and I've got it plugged in in one side and then it's really good because a Tesla has two USB-C cables. So it's great. So I've got one there and one there. That's what I love about this car. It's full of points where you can charge things. And of course, we've got both of our phones charging on our trip and you probably can't see the map very well but we're we're around the glass house mountains right now because we're actually going up the range today we're going to Conondale because Conondale is a really pretty spot and there's a it's a great drive you get fantastic views on both sides so we thought we'd take you in our new car and and see how we go so here we are in the little town of Mullaney. And it's busy today. There's a lot of people driving and walking around the town. How's the driving going? Good? Except for the backseat driver, yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's very easy to drive. And there's such beautiful views up yeah, here. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. It's really beautiful. Okay, so we've taken a drive from Mullaney, about 15 minutes, and we're on the Mullaney Kenilworth Road. It's 15 minutes to Mullaney that way, and about 20 minutes to Kenilworth that way. And we're in the little town of Conondale that has a population of about 850 people. And Conondale was named after a Scottish pastoralist in 1851. Have a look at this map, isn't this amazing? The Mary River runs behind Conondale, and this map is just fantastic. It shows we're here, there's Conondale, there's Mullaney, and way up the top there, there's Kenilworth. And of course, we did a video on Kenilworth. You did see our video on Kenilworth because that, we took you to the cheese factory. And from Kenilworth, there's a road from Kenilworth to Yamundi with the famous markets. And from Yamundi, you can get to Noosa. We're approximately one hour's drive from Noosa, I guess, and some of the most picturesque scenery. This is a very popular driving route for people on weekends and really people on motorbikes on weekends because it goes up and down and winds around. Great for the Tesla to try it out. 
but it's a really pretty town. It's really friendly. Everybody waves and says hello. Uh, over here, it's such a tiny, cute town. But look, they have a public pool. It's open from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. every day. There's this nice little picnic spot here that has um, people pull over and they use the picnic facilities and it has clean bathrooms, which is kind of nice. And even though it's a really tiny town, they have a primary school and it has about 95 mm. or 100 children at the school. Here we go, here and all over there. Every good country town needs a general store and they've got one of those too. <laughs> and the people are very friendly and they have a huge range of things there. So a very pretty place to stop is Conondale. Remember that next time you come uh, for a drive or you want to drive from Brisbane. It takes approximately from Brisbane, how long would you say it would take from maybe an hour and three quarters, something like that, yeah, probably, with not, you know, the way traffic is at the moment, but really pretty spot. <laughs> Where are we? We're at Kenilworth Cheese Factory. And what have you got? Well, have a look. It's a cheese box. Oh. A variety of um, yeah, different cheeses they produce. Yum. How much is that? That was 10. 10 That's bucks. Good. Yeah, 10 dollars. Good value. Mm, yum. Mm, enjoy. Mm, yum. Oh, wow. Same digger. Do you remember how to use it? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be 20 degrees today. It's a beautiful day and not too long till we get where we want to go. We've just pulled over in the town of Yamundi, so we're gonna stop and grab a coffee and have a break for a little bit. Yamundi is a very different town when it doesn't have the Yamundi markets. It has the markets every Saturday and Wednesday, and it also has night markets during summer. I love coming to Yamundi. It's one of my favorite places because it always feels so tropical. I always, you know you're in Queensland when you come to Yamundi, but this is something that you probably don't see if you've come up here for a holiday you've probably never seen this before this is the Yamundi market when it's not on market day Peanut butter, yum, my favourite, one of my favourites. Mm. Well, we just had a delicious coffee at Humdrum, Humdrum Espresso, and you can sit outside here, which is where we sat, and it was beautiful sitting outside in the sun, and it was really lovely because a few of the local people were talking to us and asking what we were doing up here today, and they were very, very friendly, and that's that's pretty much your Monday full, you know. Our experience in Monday, everyone is very friendly. It's a really nice little country town, especially when you come during the week off season. It's a really lovely place to stop. But if you're in your Monday, definitely try out this cafe because it's brand new and it, it's actually situated where an old butcher shop used to be. And when they were um, in lockdown, they pulled down the old butcher shop and they've built this humdrum cafe and it's just fantastic. The coffee was delicious. And I know I say that all the time, but it was really delicious. So remember that if you come to your Monday. Okay, so we've pulled over at North Lakes and we're in the IKEA car park. So it's just straight off the Bruce Highway. We have 31% of our battery left after driving around a fair bit today. And Paul will be able to tell you when he looks at his app how much driving we've done. But we're driving around here and we're looking, we've never been here before. Let's have a look. There's the entrance to Ikea. And look, there's a charger right there. 
So these charges are good because this type of charger, the Queensland Government, uh, it's part of their uh, electric vehicle uh, super highway charging project. And I think it works at about 20 cents a kilowatt or something, doesn't it? So we'll be able to tell you how much we put in, you'll be able to watch how we do it and tell you how much it costs. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to go here and go charging. It says we have 31%. Oh, look, see? How, how cool is that? It just opened. That's amazing, isn't it? We're going to film me doing it because if I can do it, anybody can do it, okay? Because, like, ask my son. I'm the most te technologically illiterate person he knows. I can't even say it. That's how bad I am. But let's let's go do it. So the first thing we do, there's two pumps here. This is the one that I'm going to choose. This 50 kilowatt one. Looks like that. And now, grab my phone, go to the ChargeFox app. Ready? So all I do is go details and press start. And you can see it started charging. And if you look at the car, come over here, you can see the green lights flashing. So it's charging. If you look here, you can see this 40, 41, kind of jumping up and down that's how fast that's how fast the battery is getting charged right now so it says on the pump that it's a 50 kilowatt but usually about 40 41 kilowatts that's how fast that's the equivalent power that you're getting into the vehicle the charge has already jumped up to 39 percent and we'll probably just stay here till it gets to maybe 50 percent and then we'll then we'll get going and we'd be charged 20 cents a kilowatt so it really costs next to nothing so we'll just stay here for a little bit and whilst we're here we can we can play a game we can watch netflix we can watch youtube okay so both the phone and the screen are telling us we're at 50 percent now and we're going to stop because we've got solar at home we get it for free we really just wanted to pull over here to see where the charger was and to show you how we do it. So I'm going to stop it now. All I have to do is either press stop charging on the screen or I can do it on the app, stop charging. There you go. So it stops and it tells me that I've just filled up for 10.91 kilowatts and I'm going to be charged $2.18. How's that, hey? That's amazing. Bargain, hey? close that and now we just come out here it's really important to unlock the charge port now take it out put it back in here bob's your uncle goes down by itself all done thanks for watching and we'll see you next week